So, I am back in Innisfail, and you might ask, why am I back here? I mean, not behind the, why I'm behind the charger, but uh, why am I back in Innisfail? And why am I charging here? Well, let me tell you. So, this is the Hyundai Kona EV. Today, I am actually on the quest to see if we can charge this vehicle at the maximum charging speed in the winter time. Welcome everyone to Ready Steady Charge. Today we are doing an experiment with the Hyundai Kona EV. So previously I have attempted to charge this vehicle at a maximum charging speed during much colder conditions and that time it didn't quite work. I believe the problem wasn't because the battery was not warm enough. So if you want to check out that video, you can click here. I think the problem is actually I arrived with a battery that's too full. The fastest charging speed tend to start at the very, very end of the battery range. So you have to start charging at around 10 to 20% to obtain that really fast charging speed at the beginning. And if you start charging with a higher battery percentage, you'll get a good speed, but it's not the fastest. And let me tell you a little bit about, for this particular vehicle, the Hyundai Kona EV, what battery temperature means um, in terms of charging speed. So generally speaking, if you arrived at the fast charger with um, plus 6 degrees Celsius in the battery, generally speaking, you can get up to 40 to 50 kilowatts. And if you have that temperature and you plug in, as the battery is charging, the battery heater will start warming up the battery and the battery will also warm up using the excess heat from the fast charging. So during our session, um, our battery actually heated up to 19 degrees Celsius from 15, which is great. And uh, then the temperature will only go up and the higher it goes, supposedly, the faster it will charge. So in order to charge at the fastest speed, that I'm aiming for today, which is 75 kilowatts. The battery should be at 25 degrees Celsius or higher. So if I arrive with about 10% battery, I plug in and the battery temperature is definitely not going to be at 25 degrees Celsius. However, if it starts charging fairly fast, somewhere between 40 and 50 kilowatts to start with, then the battery will warm up fairly quickly and once it goes above 25 degrees Celsius and it's still at a fairly low state of charge, then I think we can get 75 kilowatts. So the charging speed at any given moment in any given charging session absolutely depends on what your vehicle does. And that is true for all electric vehicles. But what is also true is it does depend on the charging station as well. So this one that we are at right now, the a flow charger in Innisfail is only capable of a maximum of 50 kilowatts. Now remember, the Kona can go up to 75, so this charger is actually not going to be capable of supplying 75 kilowatts. So the Petro Canada station can supply up to 350 kilowatts, but the Hyundai Kona EV can only take 75 at maximum. So what we're gonna do today is drive to Petro Canada and see if we can get a really fast charging speed. So my consumption for this trip so far is 4.6. Now I'm going to make that 4.5 just to be a little more conservative with my estimate. So I'm estimating the consumption to be just a bit higher than what it actually is. So the distance between this charging station in Innisfail and the Cross Iron Mills charging station is 95 kilometers. And Let's divide 95 by the 4.5 kilometers per kilowatt hour uh, consumption number. We get a total energy used of 21.1 kilowatt hour. So that's how much energy it's going to take from the battery to go from here to the uh, Petro Canada station. And if we divide 21.1 by 64, which is 64 kilowatt hour, that's the total uh, energy inside the battery, then we get 33%. So I'm going to use 33% battery. I am going to charge up to about 45% battery just to give myself a teeny bit more buffer. So I 
actually don't run out before I get there. And I hope to arrive with 10% left, where I give the vehicle the best chance to have an extremely high charging speed. I'm hoping for 75 kilowatts. Well, we're actually ready to go. Um, I only needed to charge here for around 10 minutes. So let's go to Petro Canada in Crossair Mills. We are in cross iron mills and uh, we're plugged in and charging. Uh, my calculations were pretty much correct. We arrived with 11% battery. The battery temperature is hovering around 19 to 20 degrees and our consumption is a little bit higher than before, but I drove in a way where I want to make sure I arrive with about 10% battery. So that's all going according to plan. Right now, the uh, battery temperature has risen to 24 degrees Celsius. Um, the charging speed is at 53 to 54 kilowatt. So it's not at 70 something yet. So let's see what happens when the temperature warms up at 25 or above 25 degrees. And then let's see what happens to the charging speed. So last time when I did this, I had been charging in Innisfail for a really long time. And that was because at the time I was focused on getting as much heat into the battery as possible. Because at that point, the ambient temperature is minus 22. And charging for a long time resulted in me uh, having a high state of charge to start. And when I came here, my state of charge was about 33%, if I remember correctly. And that means if the high speed can only be achieved with a low state of charge, say around 10% when I arrive, then that time I couldn't do it because I arrived with too much battery. So let's see this time when we've arrived with 11% battery with a battery temperature that is basically the same as when we came here. So the ambient temperature actually didn't make a difference to the temperature of the battery when we arrived. So the temperature has reached 26 degrees and I heard a click in the vehicle actually. And now we are getting 74 kilowatts. Let me show you, let me show you. Oh, check this out, check this out. Oh yes, 74 kilowatts. Woo, yes, yes, it is successful. And uh, let's see if you can see the battery temperature there. 26 degrees Celsius. Wow, okay, this worked. All right. Well, let's keep charging and see uh, how long this charging speed can be sustained. All right, so the throttling just happened. I witnessed it. It's 55%. That's when it happened, uh, which is, I mean, close enough to 57. So it dropped down to 57 kilowatts. So if you have a Kona, this is useful to remember. At 57%, you have 57 kilowatts of charging speed. And now I want to see at what battery percentage does the charging speed go below 50 kilowatts. In other words, at what battery percentage does it not make a difference anymore whether you're charging on the charging station that's capable of only up to 50 kilowatts versus 
when you go to a charging station that can charge above 50 kilowatts. Finally, at 71% battery, we've hit the actual drop or the throttling of the charging speed. So at 71%, it went from 57 all the way down to 35. So this is the point where the charging becomes under 50 kilowatts, where if you're on a charger that's faster than 50 kilowatts, it's not gonna make a difference. I did this experiment just to show you guys that it is possible to charge at 75 kilowatts using a Hyundai Kona EV, and it's possible to use the highest charging speed in winter time. But how practical is it really? I would say not so, because you have to start off with a very well-managed high battery temperature. Because imagine if I arrived with really low battery temperature, like sub-zero temperature. It would take a while for the battery heater and the charging process to warm the battery up enough for you to even get close to 50 kilowatts. In essence, if you have a Hyundai Kona EV and you're driving in the winter time, using a 50 kilowatt charger versus a over 50 kilowatt charger, the difference is not that much because 50 kilowatt chargers are totally fine for this particular vehicle. The number of kilometers you gain per hour is very much sufficient. Yes, you have to wait a little bit, potentially longer than if you use one of these uh, 350 kilowatt chargers, but it's, it's all right. And in the winter time, if you're coming in to charge at a charger that's capable of charging over 50 kilowatts, it might not make a difference between that versus you just using a 50 kilowatt charger. Because if your battery is not hot enough to begin with, well, your charging speed is not going to go over 50 kilowatts anyway. And the last thing I want to summarize for Alberta and EV charging is, well, cost. So I'm using a Petro Canada charger, which charges at over 50 kilowatts. In fact, it's capable of 350 if your vehicle can take it. And the cost is uh, 33 cents per minute. And the chargers that are at 50 kilowatts, mostly they're going to be flow chargers. Well, they cost you $20 an hour. Now, if you take 33 cents and you multiply that by 60 minutes, you get about 19 something dollars, which is, well, $20. So in Alberta, if you're charging on a Petro Canada charger versus a Flow charger, they both charge you money based on the amount of time you spend there. So if you're going to spend the same amount of time, the cost is actually not different. But if you're able to charge faster at a Petro Canada, technically you're using less time for the same amount of energy that you gain. So there may be a little bit of cost saving there. However, like I said, having all the stars line up to get the Hyundai Kona EV up to 75 kilowatts is quite difficult. And it's a situation that you may have to create artificially in the winter time. In the summertime, it's different because it's very easy to imagine that on a mild summer day and you're driving on the highway a lot, the battery could essentially reach 25 to 26 degrees Celsius on its own. In that scenario, in the summer, you come in, you plug in, and you get really fast charging speed. That, compared to using a 50 kilowatt charger, is actually going to save you some money and some time. Thank you for joining me on this experiment with my Hyundai Kona EV, and I'm really happy the experiment worked out because there was a little bit uh, of worry on my part that even if I arrive with a really low state of charge, I might not get to a high speed. But I'm happy it worked. So thank you for watching. Consider subscribing to our channel for more winter EV content. And my name is Solomon. As always, see you on the next one.